So when we complete this quest in whatever time we will, it says we'll embark on an enchanted quest of make-believe and wonder to unlock the playhouse hobby for your toddlers. And if we complete it within the two-day time limit, we will win the big wheeled trike for toddlers. So you will need a toddler for this quest. Hopefully you have prepared ahead and have already got a toddler in your town because it can take up to 24 hours to get a toddler if you haven't already got one. We'll go ahead and take a look at how you can get a toddler if you haven't got one. The first thing you need to do is to have a toddler take a cat nap. Once upon a time, a toddler wanted a magical bike with three wheels, but they didn't have one. Wah! Perhaps a sim toddler could find one in dreamland. Have a toddler take a cat nap in a toddler bed. So I have a baby in my town. I don't have a toddler. As you can see, Michael Montgomery is a baby. To turn a baby into a toddler, you'll have to bake a birthday cake. So go ahead and click on one of your stoves and go into baking and then find a birthday cake here. And this costs 5 LP to bake a birthday cake and takes 24 hours. So like I said, hopefully you have already done this. I've already baked a birthday cake ready. So once you have got your birthday cake, go over to your baby. And if you go ahead and click on your baby and have birthday for three seconds, so it says, would you like to use a birthday cake to let Michael Montgomery enjoy a birthday? You currently have one available. So I would suggest if you have some spare Sims and maybe some spare LPs to bake a couple of birthday cakes for upcoming quests, just so you've got cakes available. So if you do need to uh, get a preteen or a teen or whatever, you have got that option rather than having to waste 24 hours. So let's say yes on this. And there we go, he has turned into a toddler. So now we need to buy a toddler's bed. Now this doesn't work with a normal bed. You do actually have to use a toddler one. If you go into your home store and into your toddler's section, and you can buy a bed here. So 6,000 for the night sky bed, which is a one star. So we'll just place that down there. And then with your toddler selected, click on the toddler bed and catnap for 30 minutes. Our toddler has finished taking a catnap. Now we need to send a toddler to the swim centre. Your, sw your sim toddler slept very, very deeply. They dreamt of exploring a magic castle and had a grand adventure. What rhymes with adventure? Swim centre. Well, almost. Send a toddler to the swim centre. So come out onto the town map. And then come down to the swim centre, which you should already have had built from a previous quest. And then into your sim tracker and whistle over the toddler. And that is task completed. Now we need to explore the magic castle. After a perilous journey with no snacks or naps, your toddler discovered a magic castle deep in an enchanted forest. Adults called this playing make-believe at a playhouse. Sigh. <laughs> Explore the magic castle at the playhouse in the swimming centre. So the magic castle is in fact the toddler playhouse over here. Click on the toddler playhouse and explore magic castle for 2 minutes and 33 seconds. We've finished exploring the magic castle. Now we need to ask Wumples to read to a toddler. So Wumples is back. Inside the castle, your toddler found a magical invisible storybook. It had words in it, but unfortunately, not many pictures. Luckily, Wumples the water safe bunny appeared and she can read invisible words. Have a toddler ask Wumples for a story. So Wumples is outside, I think. Yeah, here he is, or she is. Click on Wumples and ask Wumples to read the story for five minutes. Wumbles has finished reading to the toddler. Now we need to feed your toddler a snack. Wumbles began reading. A long time ago, in a magical place far, far away, a princess called what? Wumbles stopped. You look hungry. Have a snack and Wumbles will finish the story. Have a sim. Feed your toddler a snack. So we need to call over a sim. And then click on the toddler and feed toddler a snack for one hour. Here we go. Here she comes. Oh, look at that. Cute. Oh, look at him. Just sitting down eating his little peas and carrots. I think that's peas and carrots. We've finished feeding our toddler a snack. The next thing we need to do is to play with the cat at the swim centre. Wumples resumed reading. A princess helped a brave toddler find a magical treasure and met a unicorn. To summon a unicorn, you must 
Oh no, a page is missing. Sounds like a job for Professor Cat. Look, there she is. Play with Professor Cat and she'll help you. Play with the cat at the swim centre. So make sure you have your toddler selected and then go ahead and click on the cat and play with for six seconds. Now we need to search a tree for the torn page. Meow. Professor Cat said that she used the torn page to feather her nest in the enchanted forest. Your toddler knew that they had to sniff it out. Search a tree at the swim centre. So again, with your toddler selected, click on one of these trees over here and search a dancing tree for 8 hours and 30 minutes. We've finished searching the tree for the torn page. Now we need to talk to Professor Cat. The torn page was a bit smelly and covered in paw prints. Your toddler wondered if Professor Cat could translate it. She's a professor after all. Talk to Professor Cat at the swim centre and ask her to translate. So here's the cat. It'll just be wandering around your swim centre. Click on and talk to Professor Cat for 24 seconds. We've finished our talk with the Professor Cat. Now we need to have a cat holiday in the playhouse. Professor Cat consulted her Catpedia and said she'd tell Wumpels about it soon. As a reward for being a good searcher, she proclaimed your toddler an honorary cat. Per cat custom, your toddler is now entitled to a cat holiday. Your toddler can now have a cat holiday at the playhouse in the swim centre. Go try it. So we'll go back to the toddler playhouse over here and click on it and have a cat holiday for 2 hours and 10 minutes. Our toddlers finish having their cat holiday in the playhouse. The next thing they'll need to go and do is have your toddler dance with a tree. Your toddler heard a strange rhythmic rustling as if a hundred happy palm leaves were dancing to a funky beat singing Make Like a Tree, It's Dancing Time. Have your toddler dance with a magical dancing tree at the swim centre. So make sure you have your toddler selected. I think we can just click on any one of these trees and dance, dance, dance for 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Toddler's finished his little dance with the tree. Now we need to ask Wumpels to read to your toddler. After taking care of business, your brave toddler remembered the magical invisible storybook. Hooray! Wumpels waited patiently for your toddler's return. At the swim centre, ask Wumpels to finish telling the story to your toddler. So let's click on Wumpels, still waiting outside at the front, and ask Wumpels to read the story for five minutes. Now we need to talk to the swim centre elephant. Your toddler napped happily. They dreamt that the elephant king of the water temple was sad and needed your help. He was purple too. Hmm, where is the purple elephant? Talk to a purple elephant at the swim centre. So let's go back out to the town map and head over to the swim centre. Once you're over at the swim centre, whistle your toddler over again and then come over to the purple elephant back here. Click on the purple elephant and talk to him for 6 hours and 20 minutes. We've finished talking to the elephant. Now we need to send an adult to the swim centre. The elephant king of the water temple was sad. Professor Cap broke the golden rule and left magic puddles on the floor of the water temple. Oh no! Summon an adult sim to the swim centre. So go into your sim tracker and then any adult, just whistle them over. Task completed. Now we need to clean up pea puddles. Who in the name of Simtown let a cat in here? Look at all this mess. It's left golden puddles to clean up. Just great. Have a sim clean up the pea puddles at the swim centre. This is nice. <laughs> so have a little look around the swim centre. I have a pea puddle there. Clean up for two seconds. And I have got... There are three puddles in all. We should cleaned up the first one. Oh, we only have to do one, actually. We just have to do one of the pea puddles. Okay, now we need to search a dancing tree for treasure. With peace restored to the water temple, the elephant king is content. As a reward, he will reveal the location of unicorn berries. Unicorn berries can only be found deep in the enchanted forest near dancing trees. Search for treasure on the dancing tree at the swim centre. So, go back to the dancing trees, or we need our toddler selected for this click on a tree and search for treasure for nine hours and 30 minutes there we go we have searched the dancing tree for treasure i wonder if we found any
Hmm. Dance with Wumples. Instead of finding treasure, your toddler found Wumples looking guilty. She burped and apologised. She ate all the unicorn berries and thought it would help her summon a unicorn. Poor Wumples. Dance with Wumples to cheer her up. Let's find Wumples again and dance with for 1 minute and 12 seconds. We have finished dancing with Wumples. Now we need to feed a toddler cookies. Wumples is afraid she'll never see a unicorn, but your toddler reassured her and explained that unicorns like it when toddlers get fed cookies. Have an adult sim feed a toddler cookies. So in your sim tracker, whistle over an adult if you haven't already got one over here. Click on the toddler and feed cookies top right for five minutes. There we go, the toddler has finished eating their cookies. Now we need to have a toddler take a cat nap. Wumpals was super happy and asked your toddler their heart's desire. She listened carefully and smiled. As Professor Cat would say, to sleep perchance is to dream. Your toddler suddenly felt very, very sleepy. Have a toddler take a cat nap in a toddler bed. So let's head back home. We'll whistle the toddler back over from the swim centre and cat nap in a toddler bed is 30 minutes. Toddler's cat nap is over. The next thing we need to do is to send a toddler to the swim centre. In your toddler's dream, Princess Wumples rode a unicorn, had a rollicking adventure and returned to the water temple with a present. What could it be? Send a toddler to the swim centre. Back over to the swim centre and whistle your toddler over. And that is task completed. Lots of backwards and forwards in this quest, isn't there? Now we need to ride the big wheel trike. As if by magic, a yellow steed with a big magical wheel appeared. It looked beautiful and even better than in your toddler's dream. Take it for a swim. Have a toddler ride the big wheel trike at the swim centre. So it's just down here. Oh, and look, the unicorn's here. Click on there and ride big wheel for one minute. Now we need to return magical book to playhouse. Your toddler held the restored magical invisible book closely and wondered what to do with it. How could they have more magical adventures any time they wanted? Where did the magical invisible book belong? Where did it all begin? Oh, the playhouse. Return the book to the playhouse at the swim centre. So with your toddler selected, click on the playhouse here and return magical book for 2 hours and 10 minutes. We've returned the book to the playhouse and that is quest completed. Congratulations, you completed the In the Clubhouse quest. Toddlers can now have make-believe adventures anytime they want using the playhouse hobby. And because we completed it within the time limit, we've unlocked the big wheel trike for our toddlers. Check the toddler section of the home store, then zip around shin high with it in any Sims yard. So we will check out those prizes now. So now we can do the toddler playhouse hobby. To do it the first time, you need to come over to the swim centre, whistle over a sim and you can get started with the hobby. And then once you've completed the hobby for the first time by collecting all of the collectibles, you will gain access to the toddler playhouse that you can place in your actual sims homes. The limited time prize for this quest was the big wheel which you can find in the toddler section of the home store. It costs 5000 to buy. You can place it indoors and I think yeah, you can place it outdoors as well. And your toddler can go around and ride it. So ride a big wheel for one minute. So we go, our sims getting on it and they just ride around the whole lot on the little trike, which is quite adorable to be honest. That's quite cute. The next quest that becomes available to us is preparing for preteen. So I'll put a link to that on the screen now. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has helped you. If you've got any questions about the quest, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.